Hello everyone and welcome to Invisible Coffee with Logan uh, and today we're going to talk about multiculturalism. If you don't know, we are now at the 2011 IDEA Youth Forum and the theme of this year's forum is migration. Right? So the Youth Forum, this is the most diverse forum ever with 50 old countries participating and we decided to look at some of the people from those countries and focus on migration. So I'm a migrant myself, initially of India, now I'm from well, a long, long time ago, but now I live in Malaysia, so I'm Indian Malaysian, Malaysian Indian. And this is Caleb. Hi, my name is Caleb. Mm -hmm. My Korean name is Seungyeon Choi. Mm -hmm. I'm a second generation Korean American. I'm currently living in California. Living in California? You also lived in New Zealand for a while? Yes, for four years. Is California better than New Zealand or New Zealand better than California? Um, I think New Zealand has it's benefits, benefits, yeah. benefits and such a political reasons. answer. Like, good, you have a feature. <laughs> they both have their pros and right. cons. Uh, Catherine. Christina. Christina. Right. <laughs> I am Christina. I'm a first generation immigrant citizen in Korea. I'm in Canada. I'm a, I have a Korean background, but right now I just got my Canadian citizenship about a month ago. So, yeah. <laughs> Was that a big party after you got your citizenship? No, not really. What did you have to do to get your citizenship? Well, I personally didn't do a lot. It was just my dad who had to write an exam. Oh, okay. And then we had to go and like allege our to like the British royal family and sing O Canada. <laughs> <laughs> do you know all the words? Yeah. I'm not singing it here though. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. we'll, 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 we'll. Good. So we're gonna talk what What's interesting to me is how you like we have to be sometimes two different people at the same time, right? We're talking a little bit about how that's easy, very easy, like a multicultural environment because everybody around you uh, is multicultural, right? When you go back to Korea, though, does that feel weird or different to have to not really be Korean? You said you go back to Korea once in a while, right? Yeah, but when you meet other members of your family. People who've maybe never left Korea before. Right, like not necessarily. It's just weird when I'm walking down the streets yeah. and like I've been living in Canada for five years, so mm -hmm. I don't really have a lot of like school friends left in Korea. Mm -hmm. So when people are like walking down in school uniform, so and I'm just like with my family <laughs> sitting at home <laughs> eating Korean food, it's just yeah, it's, I can't really fit in perfectly, but then I still have that inside like my heritage and my nationality and ethnicity. So I feel like I fit in and I don't think everybody looks at me differently or anything so That's cool. Do you feel the same way, Caleb? Uh, for me, when I meet my grandparents mm -hmm. or my relatives, yeah. uh, I have to respect my elders yeah. but yeah. sometimes they perceive me as uh, rude and being <laughs> because I have my American ways. Your American ways. <laughs> <laughs> and um, that's kind of like the cultural differences that I have experienced. And sure. also, uh, because I don't have that many friends in Korea, mm -hmm. when I go, mm -hmm. um, the only people I can like talk and hang out with are my parents, <laughs> my sister, my brother. <laughs> the next time you guys come, we can talk and hang out, right? and I'll introduce you to many other people. Um, the things you like about Korea, you were saying, what are some of the things you like about your Korean heritage? The, things the, food. The, food. the food. What's your favorite Korean food? There's so much I can't choose. <laughs> Just reel them off. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. What else? Kimchi jjigae. I like tenjang jjigae. Tenjang jjigae, more like kimchi jjigae. Same. It's about the same. Anything else? Other than the food? Um, like the music, the shows. Yeah. Like, right? Um, we were talking about what some symbols mean to you. Right? So you said what this means to you. Right. Does this mean anything to you? Oh yeah. Yeah? yeah. A lot. What does it mean to you? It's just, it brings us back to a lot of, like right now there's like multiculturalism, there's diversity, we try to like understand people from different cultures and things like that. Mm -hmm. But Tokyo issue, it's between Korea and Japan. And I don't know, it brings me to the little bit more sensitive side. So we can't be as understanding as we could be of different cultures. Yeah, yeah, I guess love for your country or yeah. whatever is an emotional yeah. thing rather than a purely like a logical thing. Um, towards the end of this, do you guys ever plan or think about going back to Korea? Or would you encourage people from Korea to come live with you? I would encourage more Korean people to come to America because it has so much educational value. 
that's one of the reasons why that's one of the key reasons why Koreans move in the first place. Right. And America, I believe, has a lot of opportunities, social and economic. And I plan to stay in America to get a job, but I also hope to like travel back mm -hmm. to my home country and learn more about the Korean culture, not just American. hierarchy and respect. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, to so maintain a kind of connection, but not really move back there, not really live there. Yeah, like I also believe that like places in North America, such as Canada and the United States, have a lot more opportunities. Mm -hmm. And I don't really want to lose my ties to Korea. So yeah. with that more like greater opportunities, I can bring like more things about Korea to the international stage, and I think that's going to be better for me and Korea as well. So yeah. Good. So generally, a more multicultural world. Yeah. 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 Great. Excellent. Um, thank you guys very much for contributing and doing this. Right? And hope you have a great youth forum from now on. Tune in next week for another exciting episode of Invisible Coffee with Logan.